Hello, uh, this is the next project called the Fruit Face Assignment. So this is a project, this is a kind of example of what it will look like when you're finished. Okay, so we're actually going to create a face from different objects, uh, different pictures. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Canvas, and this is the home page of Graphic Design. So we're going to go to Modules, go to the Selection Tools, so we're going to use Selection Tools. So go to the Fruit Face Assignment, and then we're actually, this is uh, the instructions. So we're gonna actually follow along with actually, actually follow along with exactly with this video to recreate your fruit face. So we need to click on the link down below. So we're gonna first click on this link. Now we need to download this image. So we're gonna click the download button. It's gonna download it into our file here. Now we're gonna actually need to open up Photoshop. I already have it open. So we're gonna click on the start menu, go down to Photoshop, which I already have it open. Okay, so um, it will look different. It will look like this when you first open up. I click no. So it look like this when you first open up. So what you're going to do is click on open. And you're going to click in your downloads folder. Now you just downloaded the fruit face. So it might just have fruit face, not just three. But anyway, so you can open up. It should look like this. So what we're going to do is we're learning how to use the collection tool and the move tool. That's the first one and the fourth one. Okay, so we're gonna start with the quick selection tool. So we're just gonna grab the. Uh, this is gonna be your face. So select in here, and it grabs the entire face. And now we're gonna go to edit, copy, and edit paste here. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts for Control C and Control V. Um, basically, and then we're gonna now do. Um, this is gonna be the eyeball. So we're gonna actually use the selection tool. We need to go back to the background. Select that. Now select the carrot, and now we're going to choose edit, copy, and edit, paste. And now we need to bring that above the, the face, if really below. Then we're going to use the actual move, the, move tool. So we need this eye. You can see now this is not being visible here. This is kind of hidden there. So we need to actually, we see the top first, whatever the top layer is, we see it first and the next layer. So we bring this layer up and we need to rename them. So we rename the face, uh, this melon here. So main face <laughs> and double click on that and that'll become I E Y E Y. Okay. And now we can actually click on the move tool. We can move that where it needs to be. So that's this I here. And then we have two eyes. So we need to duplicate it later. So right click, and duplicate the layer, we'll click OK. Now I click the move tool, and this is our another eye. So we have two eyes there. Click back on the background, then we're going to go to the next selection and grab the, uh, this is like the middle of the eye, so the iris. So we're going to click on edit, copy, and then edit, paste. So this thing needs to go above the carrots, like the eyes. So click on the move tool, and it's going to go to the middle of the eye like this, like so, but there's two. So we need to duplicate the later. So duplicate and say, okay. Now we're gonna move that to where it needs to go again. Okay, the, we're gonna actually rename this and as uh, like Iris, I guess. And then this will be Iris copy. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, Click my home background. Now we can actually grab the nose. So we'll click on the quick selection tool, click inside, and it should select all the nose. So we're gonna go up to edit, copy, and paste. You gotta get the idea. We're gonna actually re, uh, re, repeat this a few times to drag this up to top. Now we'll click on the move tool. This is the nose. It needs to come down where the nose is. Okay, you see there? Click in the background. Now we selection tool. This one, we're gonna grab the ear. So and we just click inside here and it should grab the ear. If it needs, if it needs to, if it doesn't select everything, so hold down the sh hold down the key and click and drag to make sure it selects everything. So we actually learned, so like you might need to use a minus symbol or the plus like add to selection or subtract to make sure it has everything selected. And then we're gonna click on it, edit and then copy and edit and paste. So this is our ear, so we can name it just ear. Okay. And this thing, we're gonna click on the move tool. 
So this is sideways, so we need to actually rotate it a little bit. So we're going to go to Edit, and uh, we're going to go to Free Transform here. So the little box is here. Now my cursor changes to this little curved line. So this lets me rotate it, and I'll hold the Shift key down with my left hand, and it uh, helps me create a uh, perfect vertical. So I'll let go of the, my mouse, and then Shift key, and then click the check line. And I can move that where it needs to be on the ear. So duplicate that with a right click and click on duplicate layer. Say OK. So now I need to move it over here. It's I need to flip it around because the other side of his head. So click on edit and then transform and then flip horizontal. It flips it around. So you got the other ear. Okay. Now I'll click back on background. Click on the selection tool. Now we need to actually this is the eyebrow. So we click on the eyebrow. Selects all of it. Now go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste. So this thing needs to move up above the face. So click on the move tool now, and you got this is the eyebrow. But there's two eyebrows, so we're gonna actually duplicate that. Oh, I need to rename it like brow, I guess. Fine. And duplicate that to make the other eyebrow. So we're gonna move that over here. But it needs to be flipped around, so we're going to click on Edit, and then Transform, and then Flip Horizontal. So it flips around, you got the other eye, eyebrow, okay? Now we can actually click back on, I'm going to scroll down to the background, hit the selection, Quick Selection tool, and this is the mouth. So we're going to click in here, and if it didn't select everything, click and drag. Now we're going to click on Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste, and then click on uh, sorry, this is the mouth. So I name it mouth. Here. This thing comes above the face. So we click on the move tool. We're going to actually move that where the mouth should be. Right there. Okay. The last thing we do is actually grab the uh, the bow tie and the hat. So we're clicking the background. Quick selection tool. Click on, see it didn't grab everything. So I click and drag and it should select everything. Okay. Now I can click edit, copy, and then edit, paste. Okay. So then this needs to be above the face. Click the move tool. I can move that down where it needs to be the bow tie. Okay. Then I can go back to background. Okay. I grabbed a little bit too much, but that's okay. Um, so we're just actually selecting it. Okay. And then uh, I click the quick selection tool and click on the hat, but I need to click and drag it a little bit. That's why I'm clicking and dragging it. So like everything there of the mushroom. Okay, now I'm gonna click on edit, uh, copy, and then edit, paste again. So click on the move tool. This needs to come up to the very top, uh, basically up here. So this is actually now the hat, but I'm gonna, Stretch it out. It's a little bit too small. So I'm going to click on the edit and free transform. Now I need to hold down the shift key because if I just move that, it's going to actually just scale it up like this. So I need to hold down the shift key and then drag that out. And it makes it a little wider here. So I can place that where the hat should be. Click on the check mark. So I got a hat. Now you have everything. Um, Selected there and to create your face. Now I turn off the background here. And now what I'm going to do is I can go to Chrome. I have to close that. Now I'm going to go to restaurants. Type in restaurants here. So just click on restaurants. I'm going to click on images and I'm going to find an image that I want to use of a restaurant. So like I like, uh, I use this image here. So you're going to right click on the image. You're going to click save image as. And you can name, just, you don't have to change the name. So it needs to be a JPEG image. And then click on Save. Now I'm going to go back to Photoshop. Now I'm going to place that image in. So I'm going to click on File, Place Embedded. What I'm going to do is I click on Downloads, and I'm going to find that image I just downloaded. So I click Place. It's not wide enough, so uh, it might be different sizes. You might need to make it fit the right size of your image there. So I can click, drag it over and just drag it over but this needs to be in the very uh it's click the check mark 
Now you can see like this is at the very top, so it needs to be very, very bottom. So I'll click and drag it all the way down to below both ears right here at the very bottom. So now you have your image on top of your restaurant. So the last thing you need to do is click on file and save as. So this needs to be saved as a JPEG image when you finish everything. So the JPEG is right here. It's the top one. So I'm going to name this as, um, yeah, just fruit plates. Yeah, like this. And I want to actually go to my ID number and I can go to whichever class. This is A1 class or A2 class, whatever class it is. You need to actually create, create a new folder here and you rename it like maybe uh, B1 or something like that, you know, B1. Sorry, B1. And I can click on open twice and save it there. So save it there and I click okay. And now it's saved, okay? The last thing I'll do is I actually turn it in. I go back to Chrome and go back to my preview summit. So now I click on, let's just say start, click on start, then upload and shoot the file. Now what I need to do is go back to my ID number, my folder, my network folder, and click on the B1 folder. So this might be one I just saved there and click on my free face. And I click open. And now I need to submit that assignment and it's submitted there. Okay. And that should take care of that assignment. Okay. And thanks for watching.